Hi, this is Lanier with Century 21. Well, we talked about due diligence and what that period means, but what are the other contingency periods that are on a standard contract? Uh, well, there's the finance contingency, the appraisal contingency, and then sometimes there's the contingency on sale of, of the property that you currently own. So let's dive into those a little bit. Uh, the finance contingency, that's basically the time it's gonna take for your lender to confirm all of your documents. You're, you're fully approved for your mortgage. There's no doubt in their mind that you're gonna qualify. Um, all your documents have gone through underwriting, everything looks good. That's the finance contingency, just making sure you can actually get the mortgage um, that you require to buy this property. That a lot of times is somewhere in the 10 day range, could be more, um, could be less, especially if you've already submitted everything to your lender. Sometimes you can get that down really, really low. Um, out of all the contingencies, that's probably the safest one to waive uh, if you've done your due diligence with the lender already. Uh, the appraisal contingency, that's the amount of time it's gonna take for the lender to order the appraisal, have the appraiser actually go out and, and do it, and then give you some time to kind of decide what you wanna do with that appraisal. So uh, if, let's say you offer $400,000 for the house, if it appraises at 400 or above, no issues, easy, no problem. If it appraises low, however, um, that's where things get a little bit interesting. We'll do another video on this separately, but there's essentially three options. Um, you can terminate, um, you can work out a new price with the seller, um, or you can offer cash to entirely cover that gap uh, between the appraisal value and the price that you offered. Finally, uh, there is the contingency on sale uh, of the property that you currently own. Uh, in this market right now, with it being so hot, that is a really tough one to overcome because there's just too many variables. Um, what happens if your buyer gets cold feet and now you can't sell your house? What happens if uh, you fail and you know, inspections don't go well and the buyer bails out? Sellers really don't like that contingency. So that's a tough one to get accepted right now. Now, the great news is finance, appraisal, sale of current property, uh, all those contingencies um, can be minimized. They can also be totally done away with uh, by becoming a Century 21 power buyer. You can offer with none of those contingencies. Want to find out how? Give me a call.